Good afternoon, everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDye.com, and I want to welcome you to this week's Dyes Shorts. And we are going to have um, have fun today. I wanted to um, just chit chat just at the second. Hang on, I gotta make sure I'm in the right spot. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. And I made my computer not make a noise. All these things I should write down right before I get started. So, so anyway, so I went and got my hair cut yesterday. And um, so as I was getting in the car, I wasn't at the hair cutters. It, I had to go to another store. But anyways, and I was getting into, into my car. An old guy pulled up. When I say old, I'm old, so I can say old. So he was older, quite older than me. Anyway, so he just kind of went, hey, and I thought, well, okay, well, maybe he's lost, right? I mean, not that I was in my bubble. I would probably not be able to give him directions. So I just kind of turned around, and I said, yes, and I had my mask on, and he had his just hanging on his ear, right? Because he's still in his car. I'm still, like, eight feet away. And I thought, well, I'm not going to get too close because there is COVID going on. And I have watched that movie with the fava beans, so I'm not getting close to any strange car. And so anyways, so the man's like, hi, you know, and I'm like, hi. And then he's like, are you married? And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, well, I'm not. And I'm just like, you know, I already got in my car and I locked my car and I left. And I thought, that's why I never leave the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that was the excitement for yesterday. Today's excitement is the cute little card that I'm doing. So it's actually Friday the 13th. I'm a, if not, I'm also a germaphobe. <laughs> That's why I don't leave the house with all the germs. But I'm also very superstitious. So ugh, Friday the 13th is not one of my favorite days. But anyway, so hopefully all will go good for the live. So hello, Nancy. Um, you were born on the 13th. Were you born on Friday the 13th? Um, so it was a good day then. So, um, wow, I was born on a Saturday, I believe. And I do believe I was due on April the 1st, April Fool's Day. <laughs> so that kind of makes sense for what, what, why I'm so wild and crazy, but I was not born on the first. All right, so I'm going to turn my phone so we can have some fun and make this to be not super long. All right, I also want to share a couple cards. Now, don't forget, tomorrow, last a day in September. And now Marcy's in Canada, so you register with Marcy if you're in Canada, and then she'll send you all your goodies. And um, and then we do the event together in Zoom, or you can just watch the recording and do it later if you want. Hi, Sandy. Yay, you're on the live. Um, so tomorrow is the last day to sign up if you are in, in the States. Now Marcy has showed a couple sneaks, and I thought, you know what? Today I'm going to show a couple sneaks myself. Usually I don't, but... I want to get some more people signed up. So I'm going to show a couple. All right. So you know the stamp sets you're getting. You're getting the sheep. You're getting the joy. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. I have them all over the place. Hang on a minute. Not a good thing. All right. So you are getting sweets and treats. You are getting joyful life. And... Hang on a minute. You are getting, I have all my pieces out. Counting sheep. So those are the three stamp sets that you're gonna be getting because you are gonna use these for, to do your make and takes. Now, like we've been saying for the last few months while registration is, is going on, if you have these, if you have something similar, you can choose a different stamp set and then you use the what you have at home. All right, but these are the ones that you're going to be getting. So I'm going to show you a couple little sneak peeks. So don't forget. All right, let me move that other way. So this is one. <gasps> these sheep are so adorable. Now, you are not going to get the dye. 
because there is a dye that goes with a sheep. Now, I have a few people, they're like, I ordered the dye because I know I'm getting the stamp sets from you, or vice versa. They're like, send me the dye because I ordered this, the sheep already, so it doesn't really matter. But your pieces will be dye cut out, and then you'll just have to stamp them. So anyway, so this is one, and then this is one of the other ones. So these are so cute, and as you can tell, you get a white gel pen. Whenever you do one of my socials, you always get a white gel pen. And that's just what I use to color the sheep. So don't they look even more like sheep with their hair all wiggly? So that's all I'm sharing with you. That's all I'm sneaking. That's all I'm sneaking with you right now. So you just want to make sure that you let me know and um, you sign up. So yeah, so Minda, it can go to Hawaii. And um, so that's so funny. I don't know if the guy was hitting on me, Jackie, but it was just kind of like, you know, I'm just going to move along and you should too, sir. But anyways, um, this is the host code. I know I mention that every time and it also is on my blog and um, sometimes when I upload the videos, I put that above. I should probably put it below. Okay, so let's see. Um, so yeah, so that was the excitement of yesterday. So now let's get to our card. All right, so what I'm going to use is Seasons of Fun. Now this is actually a hostess set. So did you know that? Did you know there are different hostess sets in the catalog? All right, so the main catalog, it's in the back of the book. These are the hostess sets. So you have the cute... Um, this one is so fun, right? With the swan and that funny frog. And then the ones on the other other side. And I have been using this paper over and over and over. And this is really fun too. So there's um, hostess sets in the annual catalog. Now, I don't think that you have to have a party to earn them. No. I, as a demonstrator, earn them all the time when I'm putting orders in. Customers order enough. To get them so you don't have to have a party now of course you can you can have a virtual party and you just use your own host code it is super super easy now also in the celebration this isn't really well it is like a hostess set um and this one you can get for free um at the 300 um dollar level all right and, but then in the mini catalog, we have a couple here. So you have Seasons of Fun and Amaryllis a Bloom. And I lo look at these checks. That is so cool. All right. So I'm going to be using this one. All right. Let me get these off my table. So we're using Seasons of Fun. These little girls or boys remind me kind of of the Campbell Soup Kits. All right. I'm also using Greeting from the Snow Buddy Better. I love, love, love the font. And we're going to be using Stitched So Sweetly. I was born in April. I just came later than April Fools. Okay, so then we're gonna go ch Cherry Cobbler. So I have all my pieces ready. So we have Cherry Cobbler for our card base. And I've already got it scored all nicely. And I'm also going to be using, let's see. Basic white, I need a basic white for the front, the inside, the inside. This is the outside, all my pieces, right? All right, this is that stitch so sweetly I talked about. And I already stamped my little, now I was in my head going, oh, this is a little girl. But when I get them finished, I actually turned this into a boy. All right. Because really, you know, as I got coloring, I'm like, hey, this is, I think this is going to be a boy. All right, so let me move my pieces around. All right, so I already stamped the little boy, but I want to stamp on the inside. And I'm going to use a cute little dog. Oh, my gosh. I miss Toby so much. All right, so we're going to put the cute little dog on the inside. And he's, like, jumping up in the air. For the snowflakes. He's got his tongue sticking out. He is so adorable. So then I gotta put some snowflakes, right? So he's jumping up to get these snowflakes. 
And then where's my greeting? So my greeting is going to be warm winter wishes. And that's the one I got out of the snow body. What is it? Snow body. Snow body something something. My memory, right? All right, so warm winter wishes. That's going to go down here. And then I'm just going to let that set so it can dry super, super good while I'm coloring my little boy. All right, and then the dog can be drying too. All right. Now, if you were doing this, you would clean all your stuff, right? And if that was just me doing it, I would too. But I have everybody joining me today, so I will can't clean my stamps later. All right, so let me get a grid sheet so my colors will bleed through. And we're going to color. Of course, you're saying, why not? You never color, Diana. I know, I always color. And then I talked about this cute little bucket. Look it. I love these little buckets. All right. I did not go into TJ Maxx yesterday. I did go into a couple dollar tree stores after my fun that I had um, this week and I have realized that going into the Dollar Tree is very similar to going into like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. If you see it and you think you might want it later, just get it because I had seen something when I was in there the week before and I thought no, but then when I got home and I was working on other stuff. I'm like, oh, I could have used that, you know, whatever, whatever. I'll just run in and get it. Well, of course, I went into three different ones because there were a bunch of them on the way home from the hairdressers. Oh, that's where the lovely gentleman asked me if I was married. It was outside of the dollar store. Um, and, of course, they, they didn't have any. So I'm like, okay, I will learn. I have learned. Okay, so now I'm just going to be coloring all my fun little stuff. All right, so we're gonna go, let me bring the dog over here. He's he's probably dry. And I'm going to color him in gray. So this is just a dark gray granite. So we're just going to add a little bit of color. So yes, some fun. All right, so dark gray granite, light gray granite to finish our puppy. And I'm sure there's like a thing that says, if you were born on, born on a certain day, isn't there like a, a poem? Born on Friday, something, something, something. I don't know. All right, so here's our cute little puppy. I left the top of his tail just a little lighter. And I'm gonna give him a little pink cheek. And then just finish that gray. So there my cute little puppy's done. All right, I'm also gonna do some red. So wherever I'm gonna do red, well, it's actually cherry cobbler. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the light, soft suede, wherever I'm gonna put red. Now this is going to be a little red wagon or whatever that um, this is on but this bag is actually going to be the whole bag is soft suede all right then I'm just going to put some marks on my hat and this scarf here so I'm just kind of going quick. Jeff is home early today. So that's always fun. Start the weekend off with Jeff being home early so he can rest up. I think we're gonna have rain on the weekend again. Okay, so that was a soft suede. And then I'm gonna take my light, light, light cherry cobbler. So this is the light cherry cobbler. I'm gonna put a little bit of light. Just kind of here and there. And then I'll go with the dark. 
So I've also been watching, oh my gosh, I've watched it years ago, but I've just kind of been having it on the tape. It's something called Keeping Up Appearances. Have you ever watched that? It's on channel eight. It's on PBS. I don't know if channel eight is like PBS everywhere or that's just Arizona. So whatever your PBS channel is, oh my gosh. Hyacinth. Hyacinth is so hilarious. All right, so isn't that cute? The little dog has his little um, scarf on. And then we'll just finish the scarf on this little guy. So she gets me laughing so hard. With all her antics. And I think, oh, I hope I'm never as crazy as she is. But sometimes I think, sometimes she'll do things and I'll go, oh, I think I've done that before. When I'm a little particular. All right, so these are just striped pants. And this is what made me turn this little girl, because she was going to be a girl. And then I did her striped little pants. And I picked blue for her coat. Now I know girls can wear blue. But, oh, let me finish the. But I liked the blue better. But then when I was coloring the pants, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've also been watching the monkeys. So this little girl has turned into Davy Jones because he always had these fun, crazy, striped kind of pants. And he would do that crazy dance. His legs were like snakes, all wiggly. So this card turned into Davy Jones instead of a little girl. So, but I love that really when you look, I mean, she doesn't have long hair, so she could be a boy or a girl. All right, so I'm going to color her face, or his face. So the little flirty flamingo cheeks, because it's cold out, a little bit on her nose. And then my dark petal. And then the light petal. She's, I keep saying she, he is so cute. That's like when I was pregnant the whole time with Eric. Oh my gosh. I, I could have swore I was going to have a girl. So the whole time I was pregnant, in my head I kept thinking she, she, she. And then he was a boy. But I swear, the first couple nights, I was so tired waking up. And I would go in my head, oh, she's I, I don't even know if I just said I would that I would go in she but so when he would wake up at night I was so tired I would think oh she's sleep she's awake but and I think it's just because we have more girls in the family so I just assumed I would too all right so this was dark smoky slate for the heels of the shoes and oh, for the little buttons too. So isn't this coat cute? Doesn't this kind of make you think of like a British kind of coat? Isn't that kind of a coat that British people would wear? I don't know. So, and then this is the balmy blue. So I'm making the coat be balmy blue. But you could turn this into a girl so easy. But. I just ended up being a boy. All right, so balmy blue, super easy. And then I'm just going to use the dark balmy blue just to add a little bit of um, dark shadows and as well as on the sleeves and stuff. Isn't that cute how the jacket is? I love this cute little coat. 
So I don't know what kind of coat it is. But it's a Davy Jones coat. Hey, hey, with the monkeys. All right. So I'm just putting a little bit underneath where that would be a shadow, 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 shadow. All right. And then our Granny Apple Green on the tree. Our little, it's almost kind of like a Charlie Brown tree, right? And then a Daffodil on the star, or the star. Now I'm trying to get color real quick. All right, hang on. Cute, cute. And then of course, a little bit of gel pen. You gotta have gel pen. Gotta have gel pen. So a couple little, um, whatchamacallits. Just adds a little highlight. All right, looks good. Then we can assemble. All right, so let me get my pieces. So what I did was I wanted I didn't want to have tons of the red paper with the snowflake. So what I did was I just cut, this is like three and a quarter by five piece. And then I just trimmed it on the angle. And then that just gives me, you know, you can get more out of your paper, right? So it's still adding that color, but it's not so, um, so I just cut like a triangle and I am using so the other day when I did the chicken lip balm I used the back side of this paper but now I'm gonna use the fun front side that has all the cute little snowflakes on it now this is the paper from celebration so that's how you're gonna get this DSP all right so let's get Davy on his card and now this, I just trimmed down. I tried to find one with the stitched rectangles and they're just, they're not perfect. And I was kind of, I'm like anal. So I just trimmed it so that it fit in there. All right, so let me do the inside. Oh, you know what I forgot? All right, so I forgot. So that means I bring my silicone mat over. I forgot to put my stripe. Hi, Nia, or hi, Wanda. You like that? He is so cute. And that dog. I almost just did a really quick card with just the dog. But wouldn't that be fun? That you could like send out tiny little Christmas cards and it could just be from the dog. Like send it to the vet. That would be fun. All right. See how it peels right off of there. Cause nothing sticks to that silicone. All right, so it's a perfect mat when you boo boo. All right, it's cause I forgot to put my stripe. And I cut it long, right? So I always have to trim it. All right, did I put some on the other side? I did, I did, I did. Let me find my card. So here's the card, all ready to go. So here's the cute little puppy on the inside. Isn't that so cute? Oh, and wouldn't that be cute even as the front of the card? If you just want to do a simple card and then you write on the inside like all the stuff that you did. All right, and then we're gonna put this on the outside. And I didn't add any bling or anything, but you definitely could. You could totally, you know, bling it up. But I did not. It does not mean I won't. So when I'm doing Christmas cards, I will get the majority. I still have some time to add some bling. Then you could add bling. But only if you have time. Because you hate, because it takes time, right? Every step you do of a card takes a minute here, five minutes, two minutes, an hour, whatever. Um, so just... You know, if you don't need it, if you don't have time to add the bling, then nobody will be the wiser that you didn't add the bling. All right. So there's Davy on the front of the card. <gasps> Taking his little tree 
to his friends. And there's the cute little dog. Isn't that fun? It does make a difference. And you know what? I swear, I still have at the end of the year. Here's the one I was looking at. Um, so they're just, they're pretty close to being the same. I forgot to add the gel pen to that one. Um, but they look pretty darn close to each other. Um, I find even the end of the year, I have so much DSP left over that I try to use it up. And that little bit of strip, it does. It just makes the inside a little more personal. You're using it up. And it's not like that tiny little strip of DSP is gonna make the card way more, like weight-wise. Um, it's gonna make it way more cool. But it's not gonna make it way more, so you're gonna need another um, thing of postage. Now, if you keep putting dimensionals on top of dimensionals on top of dimensionals, that's where, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, add more postage or whatever. But, but doesn't that look like little Davy Jones? So yeah. Put a pink coat, and then it's a little girl. But, too cute. I love it. All right, so now there's two Christmas cards after that time. <laughs> so, um, hey, Virginia. So anyway, so hopefully, 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 um, we'll get some more registrations. Um, I think I mentioned that Marcy has till the 21st. Um, for her registration, mine ends tomorrow. Now, if you tell me by tomorrow and you say, you know what, I don't get paid till the 17th, but I am definitely, you know, I want to register, well, then just tell me that, right? I mean, because um, the 14th is what, Saturday? It's not like, you know, when I'm putting my order in, it's not like they're going to be picking it over the weekend, you know? Um, so anyway, so just let me know. I just don't want to go too far out. Um because, you know, it's a lot of work to get it ready and cut. So hopefully you like the two cards that I sneak peeked. If you want to see Marcy's, um, on the bottom of my, when you uh, first log in and you see my channel, if you scroll down, she's down on the bottom as a, um, as a featured channel. So um, Stampin' with Marcy, and that's where you'll find her. Um, I know it can be a little confusing because I'm stamping with Di, and that has a G. But Marcy doesn't have the G, so, you know, it is what it is. But So, anyways, so we hope that we get some more registrations. And I hope he likes the card. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you Monday for my Mimeograph Monday, 3 o'clock, same time, same channel. And uh, that's all for me. I'm going to go see what Jeff's up to. All right. Bye for now.